I'm Mario Master DT, and welcome back to Undertale. <sighs> I don't have an intro for this episode. Um, so in the last episode, we f fought our way through a lovely hangout with Papyrus. Unless I split that up, in which case we explored Waterfall with Monster Kid while dodging deadly energy spears coming from Undyne. And in this episode, we are continuing through Waterfall. Hey, buddy. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. That's a discount and a half right there, pal. Use the telescope? Might as well check it out. It's red. It's just red. I've gone blind! Uh. Huh? You weren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. I want my zero back. Uh, nothing in the box still, obviously, because I haven't put anything in. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? I don't... I don't like the progression of those questions. Where am I? Oh, the nice cream man! Um... Here. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution! Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them in for a free ice cream. There are sure to get the customers to come back. Ice cream, it's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Yeah, I'll have one. I certainly have enough money. Here you go, and your card's in the box. You got an ice cream. What does this say? The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. That was probably like the underground constitution. And we just replaced it with butterscotch and cinnamon. Alright, uh... Which way do I go up here? This is the shortcut? Yeah, okay. My bad. Like I said, I haven't played this in a bit, so I don't remember every single thing about the game. I do remember the basics, and that I love it so much that I would trade it for nothing. Uh, you hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. No wishes are stupid unless you wish for Donald Trump to be elected president. And that's the last political joke reference I'll ever make, because I really don't give a shit about the election, so... Don't worry about it. Uh, we don't even need to do anything to Mold Small, I forgot. Okay. We get nothing from Mold Small. And what's over here? Ooh. It's a pair of belly shoes. Will you take it? Yeah, sure. And I believe that's a new weapon. Weapon Attack 7. These shoes should- they make you feel incredibly dangerous. I will dance battle you into oblivion. Alright, so we've equipped the ballet shoes. When I was a little kid, I thought that said ballet because I was a silly little child. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you was very... murdery. Yeah, I've kind of, uh, figured that out. But I thought you knew that already. Yeah, no kidding. And because of that you knew that, I knew when you said, I am not wearing a dusty tutu, it was really a secret code. You really meant I actually am wearing a dusty tutu. You were trying to protect yourself while well, making it so I didn't have to lie. I picked up on this and followed your plan. I told you you were not wearing a dusty tutu. In fact, I took it one step further. I told her you were probably wearing a bandana. Of course, you would never wear that. But that's the point. She won't recognize you now. And I didn't have to betray either of you, since I just told her what you said. Wowie, you're such a smart cookie. I really can be friends with everyone. <sighs> Papyrus for president, please. Okay. Seriously, last reference. Washua shuffles up. I am bleeding. <laughs> okay. Washua, please clean my bloody shoulder up. Yeah, I'm not bleeding, like, out. I'm just bleeding slightly, so don't don't worry about me. I don't know if you were, but... Don't, don't cry for me, for I am already dead. In the afterlife, no one can hear you commentate. But no one hears me commentate. <laughs> Except for the 280 of you that are actually subscribed, which is nice. I love you. I love you. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. Okay. What do we got up here? We got more cool scenery. Oh, okay. Well, I guess battle. Oh, it's Washua and Aaron. Not fighting. No, no, no. No, 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 no. So it takes long to get rid of uh, Aaron, so I'll take care of Washua first. 
Ooh, I'm sweating. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. There's water and sweat. I don't know what I'm being cleaned by anymore. Okay, uh, it smells like a muscle farm. <laughs> Alright, so it's a little bit harder to grab the green globs of water, especially if they shoot downwards, but there we go. Now let's get rid of Washua. Not that I want him to leave, it's just Washua's a chill guy. Come in, the water's fine. Uh, are you swimming? Is that what this is? Ah! Oh, I got clipped by your massive, burly muscles, Aaron. Alright, flexing continues. <laughs> Yes, please keep doing this attack. Oh, you know what? And, uh, I just wanted to announce... Well, I mean, not that it's actually an announcement, but... Uh, ow. I've been delving into a little bit into the world of the fan game engine, uh, Unitale, which lets you recreate, uh, battles from Undertale in your own style. Hold on. The, soul, the power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Okay. Um, and I've been playing around with a few Unitale fights, and I'll probably record some of those later too when I finish Undertale, just because those are kind of cool. I mean, I found a few good ones, and at least one impossible one, but we'll see. And I, I've seen enough hentai. Hey there, I noticed you were here. I'm Onion-san. Onion-san, you here? Onion sun, onion sand, whatever. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? <laughs> yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium. <laughs> like all my friends did. You had friends? Do they look like you? Because if they did, I want to party with them. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undan's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. You hear? Aw, oh, I hope you do. You're so sweet and pure, Undan-san. I love you. Oh, hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall! <laughs> so, I don't know if... Because I know there are some characters... Sharon hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. I'm gonna... I'm not worried about my health, but I think I should just eat anyway. Do to... you just fart or you... Sing. Ugh. That was... <laughs> Sharon hums very faintly. Uh... Uh -huh. You hum a jazz bell, and Sharon follows your melody. Sire, sire, sire. Ah! Oh, I can't believe I get hit by that. Sharon seems much more comfortable singing along. Right. See you later, Sharon. But I don't know, there are a few characters in this game that are actually, um, uh, backer characters because this game was on Kickstarter I, or something, either one of those Kickstarting sites. And one of the stretch goals was, like, a ridiculous amount of money and you get a character in the game. And, uh, I'll point out those characters when I get to them. I don't know if Onion Son is one of them or is just in the game because, I don't know, just a, a character Toby Fox threw in. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. I hear nothing. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. Like what? There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. Only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. Well, don't be so sure. So sad. What? <clears throat> Please take one. so pretty. So, besides all the all action-packed and lively songs in the soundtrack, what was... Oh. Well, wait, I never saw that before. The... I mean, come to think of it, I've never given it the umbrella before. I just know what it does. I didn't know that they put a... Like a thing up there. So it's, it's nothing. It's... 
Just middle up right. Right, so middle up right. Get... Ugh, okay, all right. I'm terrible. At... I'm terrible at memorizing. All right, so it's it's uh, just standard, standard up right, standard down down right. Okay, so I think I can do that. Okay, let's try it out because that other room had the piano, and watch me not at all remember what that melody was. All right, so okay, there's a piano. So it's no okay all right <sighs> shit that's <sighs> okay uh all right all right I did it cool I like that a lot. I did it once, that's all that matters. All right, here we are. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? You're carrying too many dogs. I don't recall picking up any dogs. Annoying dog, dog. Little white dog, it's fast asleep. I love you. You deploy the dog. Hey! The dog absorbs the artifact. Well, we got a little snippet of dog song there again. The artifact is gone. And in its place, we have some dog residue. The dog residue. Dog item. Shiny trail left behind by a dog. You know, I mean, when I first started collecting dog residue back when I was, um, you know, you know, 72 in uh, 1980, it was just like, it was a big challenge for me because... The dog residue disappears so quickly, kind of like, uh, you know, life, how we're all just dust in the wind. So, if you're ever collecting dog residue, just make sure, be quick about it. 